It's been about five minutes. I'm going to check it. Oh, it's just about all ran through. Pretty close. A little bit left in there. Pull one of these pre filters. That's what it took out. about 170 so I'm gonna go ahead and put it back on the heat just for a little bit to bring it back up to temperature
<clears throat> and just tip them on the side to get that sap syrup up in the cap to sterilize it. That plate just helps keep me from dripping syrup on the bottle top. So I'll get a nice seal. Make sure those bottles are stable before you get to before you begin to pour them. Because if they tip over you'll have a big mess and you might get burned. That one might be just a little bit short, but that looks like an even gallon. Eight pints. Woohoo! Hopefully that last two were still hot enough to sterilize that, but this is all new stuff, so I think it should be good. All right. Well, there you go. It's 10.35. I started at 2.15. So a little over eight hours to make a gallon of maple syrup. Yummy. Man, it tastes real good. Not burn at all, just really yummy maple flavor. So that uh, evaporator works great. A okay. That filter works good too. For one gallon of syrup, you really don't even have to change the uh, pre filter. To wash those filters, you just run hot water through them, reverse of the way the syrup went through, and it'll flush all that uh, sugar sand and soot and everything from the fire out of the filters. Hang them up and let them dry, and they're good to use again. If you take care of them, they can last a real long time, from what I'm told. That's the first time I used them, but they work real good.
And those last two jars might have not been hot enough, but we'll use those ones up. Those other six are still burning hot. I can, I can just hold my hand on there for like a second and that's it. It starts to burn me. Mmm. Good stuff. I think dumping that ice out helped because I only had about 30 gallons of sap, maybe 32, and I made an even gallon of syrup. Last year it took me, uh, well it would have took me 40 gallons to make a gallon, 40 gallons of sap to make one gallon of syrup. This year it took me 30, maybe 32 gallons of sap to make one gallon of syrup. So I'm thinking getting rid of that frozen ice in the sap buckets is a good idea. I tasted it and it didn't have no sugar flavor whatsoever. And uh, if you do that, that sap will be that much more concentrated and it'll take that much less time to boil it down into syrup. But I'm gonna wrap it up. Syrup. Mmm, syrup. Talk to you later.